after 15 years as a software engineer, I've seen like millions of dollars wasted on software that just like doesn't work. And it usually leads to like a bunch of rework and a bunch of like rebuilding just because of the project didn't do like the most basic things. And those like basic things kind of just like boil down to like communication. Like one of the biggest things I've seen is that when software engineering has like gone away with like a DBA, like someone who's in charge of the database, one of the biggest problems I've seen is that people like they don't communicate like data models, like to the business, to other engineers, like how the data is modeled and structured. It's a simple thing, but like people don't document it or like communicate how they're going to do it. Even like just like a super simple system, like maybe Ash has a Pokemon and his name is Pikachu. Boom. That's great. You can show it just like this. It's worth recording what your intentions are. So at that point, like when you get to like even a more super complicated relationship like this, where you like have um, a trainer having many Pokemon and there's other like items and other stuff that you could have, like it's good to set the foundation so that you can build up these more complicated models to like not only like communicate to other people, but also help train new engineers as they come onto the team, right? I mean, like, why should we do this? Because like, we're not the only ones building the software. We're like, other people are building with us. And it's good to communicate not only to like the people that you're working with now, but like the people in the future. And especially like when you get into like more super complicated flows, I love using Miro and you can set up flows for just kind of like how a user is going through the, the flow of like an onboarding or just like a simple like business process. It's good to have it down in writing so that you can build your code to that, right? And so I've been freelancing mostly for the past like four or five years and I've most of my successful clients like use Miro as well and that I get excited when they do because that they have buy-in to actually like communicate and collaborate on this tool. Even though documentation and kind of like spelling out what you want to do and coming back and fixing things is not the most like glamorous work, but like you're going to thank yourself in the future. Your colleagues are going to thank you in the future. Also, any other like business users are going to thank you. It's always like good to have everything out outside of just the code. Just do this like small thing of document these like intentions and you'll thank me later.